Hello dear children. In this class, we will learn a new poem named Sympathy. So before getting into the poem, let us read a short story. Are you ready children? Yes. Here comes the story. A sweet little boy sees a thin bird in a garden on a cold day. He thinks that the bird must be feeling very cold because it has no clothes on. He is filled with sympathy for the little bird. He is filled with sympathy for the little bird. You, you can see the comic on the right side. The boy thinks this poor bird must be feeling so cold it has no clothes on. On the other hand, the bird also feels deep sympathy for the little boy. The bird also feels deep sympathy for, for the little boy. The bird thinks that the little boy must be feeling very cold because he does not have a single feather on his body. In the comic, bird thinks this poor boy must be feeling so cold he has no feather on his body. So both the little boy and the little bird look at each other with sadness, with sim sympathy. So that was the story. Did you like the story children? Okay, now you can share your ideas on the st story now. Okay, let's move on. So what do you think the word sympathy means? You have read sympathy twice in the story. Now what do you think the word sympathy means? So sympathy means understanding and caring for someone else. Not for caring ourselves, but understanding and caring for someone else is called as sympathy. Okay. Dear children, in this class, we will read a poem called Sympathy. And this poem was written by the Scottish author named Charles Mackay. Scottish means the person who belonged to the country Scotland. And we will learn new words and their meanings also. Are you ready children? Okay. So about the poet, you can see a portrait of a person. He is none other than Charles Mackay, the poet of this poem. He was born in 1814 and died in 1889. He was born in Scotland, as I said earlier. And apart from writing poems, he also wrote stories and songs. So that was his picture. Okay. Dear children, now I will read the poem for you. Just listen and observe carefully. So the poem Sympathy. I lay in sorrow deep distressed, my grief a proud man hurt. His looks were cold, he gave me gold but not a kindly word. I lay in sorrow deep distressed, my grief a proud man heard. His looks were cold, he gave me gold, but not a kindly word. My sorrow passed, I paid him back the gold he gave to me, then stood erect and spoke my thanks and blessed his charity. My sorrow passed, I paid him back the gold he gave to me. Then stood erect and spoke my thanks and blessed his charity. I lay in want and grief and pain. A poor man passed my way. He bound my head, he gave me bread. He watched me night and day. 
I lay in want and grief and pain. A poor man passed my way. He bound my head, he gave me bread, he washed me night and day. How shall I pay him back again for all he did to me? Oh, gold is great, but greater far is heavenly sympathy. How shall I pay him back again for all he did to me? Oh, gold is great, but greater far is heavenly sympathy. So that was the poem. Now, think about the poem, keeping these three questions in your mind. So, how did you feel when you heard the poem? How did you feel? And what is the poet trying to say? What is the poet trying to say through this poem? And was there any part of the poem that you liked? Did you like the poem or any part of the poem? Just think about these three questions. So based on the poem, what do you think is sympathy? Now, it's a one minute activity for you. First, you have to discuss, discuss it with your partner. And based on the poem, what do you think is sympathy? Just discuss with it with your partner and share your ideas with the class. Are you ready children? So, here starts the time. Okay, fine. Dear children, now let us understand the poem by analyzing it. Okay, so let us look at the poem a little more carefully, little more deeply to understand it better. So I'll read once again. I lay in sorrow, deep distressed, my grief a proud man heard. His looks were cold, he gave me gold, but not a kindly word. So, this is the first stanza. Here, there are three new words. Sorrow, distressed, proud. So, sorrow means sadness, as you know. Sadness. Distress means a feeling of extreme sadness or pain. So much heavier than sorrow. Distress means the sadness which is very heavier than sorrow. It's called distressed. And the third new word is proud. Which means a person who thinks he is better than other people. That is called proud. Many times we feel proud because we achieve something then we feel proud that is for that is a good reason that's in a good way but here a person who thinks he is better than other people without any reason it is not good for us so here in the poem i lay in sorrow means the speaker or the poet he lay in sorrow deep distressed his grief a proud man heard. His looks were cold. The proud man's looks were cold. He gave me gold. Here gold means uh, money or gold. He helped, which means he helped the poet. But not a kindly word. But he didn't speak any kind words. Let us move to the second stanza. I lay in sorrow, deep distress. So this is the first again. So here the meaning, a poor man is feeling very sad. Maybe the poet, a proud man or the rich man heard the grief of this poor man. His looks were cold. He didn't really care. And he gave the poor man gold or the money. But he did not speak to the poor man with kindness. So the second stanza, my sorrow passed, I paid him back. My sorrow passed, I paid him back. 
the gold he gave to me. So I paid him back the gold he gave to me. Then stood erect and spoke my thanks and blessed his charity. There are two new words here. First one is erect which means straight. Charity. Charity means help usually with money. We say that it's a charity. So the proud man gave gold to the poet or, or the speaker. So when the sorrow passed, the poet or the speaker paid him back the money he gave. Then stood erect, stood straight and spoke thanks. He thanked him for his help and blessed his charity also. My sorrow passed, I paid him back the gold he gave to me. Then stood erect and spoke my thanks and blessed his charity. So once the poor man received the help, his sadness went away. So once the poor man or maybe the poet received the help from the proud man, so his sadness went away. He also paid the proud man back. Then he stood straight and said thank you. He also blessed his help, means the proud man's help. Now the third stanza. I lay in want and grief and pain. A poor man passed my way. He bound my head. He gave me bread. He watched me night and day. So here grief, as you know, sadness. Bound my head means covered my head. With kindness, with love, with affection. So I lay in want and grief and pain. The speaker is again in grief, again in want, again in helpless situation. But now, not a proud man, but a poor man passed his way. The poor man bound the speaker's head, the poet's head. He gave the poet bread and he watched the poet night and day. Once again the man was sad and sad and in pain. Now a poor man passed by. He saw this man in pain, covered his head and gave him food. So he gave me bread, the poet says, which means he gave food. He took care of him all day and night. He watched me night and day, the poet says, which means he took care of him all day and night. last last paragraph or last stanza the poet says how shall I pay him back again for all he did to me oh gold is great but greater far is heavenly sympathy so heavenly means something that gives great happiness something that really cherishes is called heavenly so how shall I pay him back again for all he did to me. Oh, gold is great, but greater far is heavenly sympathy. So in the last stanza, now the man is thinking about paying back this poor man for all that he did. But how can we, how can the poet pay back? The man thinks to himself that gold is great or money is great, but greater than that is the real care the real feeling, real affectionate, care that is not done because of charity. So, the poet concludes that gold is great, of course money is great, but the sympathy is greater far than that of gold. So, that was uh, the gist or the theme of the poem. I hope you liked it. Am I right, children? Yes. So, according to the poet, who shows more sympathy? Give reasons for your answer. Think for a while and answer this question. According to the poet, 
who shows more sympathy whether the proud man or the poor man okay yes you're right the poor man shows sympathy but the proud man really don't care but he gave gold he just helped so dear children now let us understand the new words sorrow is the first new word which means sadness <clears throat> distress means a feeling of extreme sadness or pain the sadness is very heavier here and the proud which means a person who thinks he is better than other people is called proud man and grief is again a sadness erect means straight stood erect means stand straight heavenly which means something that gives great happiness something that gives you great happiness is called heavenly and charity which means help usually with money if somebody helps with money we say that uh, he is charity that is called charity okay now it's a uh, homework time for you make sentences with the new words with your partner now you have to sit with your partner with your friend and you have to make sentences with the new words we have just saw okay so that is the homework for you so we will meet in the next class so thank you children bye